Now we're going to be looking at smoking now and its effect on the body. Why do people like smoking so much? Why do they find it so hard to give up? That's because it contains the drug called nicotine. This is an addictive drug and therefore makes it hard to stop smoking. It does have an effect on the body. It increases the viscosity of the blood. So effectively, the blood gets stickier. This means that the heart has to work more hard in order to pump the blood around the body. So it increases the blood pressure, which puts a further strain on the heart. Cigarette smoke contains carbon monoxide. This is a toxic poisonous gas. The reason it is so toxic is because it combines with haemoglobin in red blood cells to form carboxyhemoglobin. And really, the problem with this is it prevents oxygen binding. Now we need to talk about a really unpleasant disease known as emphysema. Now, in order to understand how emphysema works, we need to have a quick look at the lining of the airways. We have goblet cells and they secrete mucus. Now that mucus catches pathogens because it's sticky and then the role of the cilia is to waft backwards and forwards in order to move that mucus laden with pathogens up the trachea to the mouth where it can be swallowed and destroyed by hydrochloric acid in the stomach. So obviously this is a really important function. Now what the disease emphysema does is it causes the cilia to be damaged. So therefore the mucus laden with bacteria can no longer be removed. Clearly we're going to see an increase in the rate of infections. Toxins in the cigarette smoke can cause damage to white blood cells. And then the real problem comes from the white blood cells, the damaged white blood cells releasing protease known as trypsin. Now the real problem arises because this trypsin digests the elastic fibres found in the walls of the lungs, actually leading to the breakdown of the alveolus walls. And so when those alveolar walls get digested, you go from this situation before emphysema takes hold, you have a large surface area to volume ratio, so lots of gas exchange, to this situation, when that emphysema has taken hold, the alveolar walls are broken down, so you have a much smaller surface area to volume ratio. Because look, you don't have any of those individual compartments anymore, so decreased gas exchange. And unfortunately, this is irreversible and a very serious condition indeed. Smoking also causes lung cancer. And that's because the tobacco smoke contains carcinogens and mutagens. A carcinogen is a cancer-causing agent and a mutagen is a mutation-causing agent. Now one word I want us to consider now is epidemiology. So we're interested in looking at the incidence of a disease, so how many people have it, as well as the cause of the disease. So what sort of things cause lung cancer? Now number one obviously goes without saying, smoking, so actively taking a cigarette or pipe or anything into your mouth because that cigarette smoke contains the mutagens. And this is responsible for approximately 90% of all lung cancer cases. However, you can also get lung cancer from passive smoking, which is kind of alarming. And that basically means inhaling smoke from other people. So you don't even have to smoke yourself here. You're just inhaling other people's secondary smoke. And obviously children are particularly vulnerable because if there are adults smoking in the home, then it's going to be hard for them to avoid that smoke. Next up, another cause is air pollution. That includes nitrogen oxides, as well as exhaust fumes from cars, and then smoke from fires, so coal fires, for example. Radon gas is also a problem, and unfortunately this just leaks out naturally from granite rocks. And then our last lung cancer causing agents are asbestos and silica. Now these were used as building materials back in the day when people didn't realise how dangerous they were. And the dust given off these building materials is very carcinogenic. So what are the symptoms of lung cancer? Well the most obvious one is probably the persistent cough and you'll notice that people who smoke a lot do have a cough it doesn't mean they have lung cancer but they do have a persistent cough they may also get the unpleasant symptom of coughing up blood people with lung cancer are very tired so they have fatigue they often get weight loss so they'll lose a lot of weight very quickly and that's often due to the loss of appetite which is yet another symptom of lung cancer and then finally chest pain